Assalamu alaikum everyone. In today's video, we will talk about types of business organizations. The three main types are sole trader, partnership, and limited company. Okay, so there are five to six different points uh, which differentiate between the ownership types. So the first point is number of owners. In a sole trader, there is only one owner in partnership and there are two or more owners, but usually there are, they are less than 20 owners and in a limited company there are several owners. It is easy to form a sole trader and a partnership as it requires less legal formalities but limited company requires completion of many legal formalities. The third point is the legal status. Now what is a legal status? It is when an individual company or organization has legal rights and obligations. It is when a group of people act as a single person for certain purposes. For example, for lawsuits, property, ownership, or contracts. So there are no legal status in a partnership or a sole trader, but a company is a legal entity to fulfill some of the purposes. Okay, so the fourth point of difference is liability. Okay, so sole trader and partnership has unlimited liability. Unlimited liability basically refers to the legal obligations as a sole trader or the partners are liable for paying off their business debts this in other words partners and sole traders are responsible for paying off all the company debts personally if company can't make its own payments but a limited company has a limited liability Okay, so the fifth point is dissolution. This basically means that when will a sole trader, a partnership or limited company will dissolve. So a sole trader will dissolve at, a will, at the will of owner. If owner is willing to dissolve, uh, his organization he can dissolve it or if he dies so the his or uh, his company will dissolve in case of partnership a partnership can dissolve at the will of partners or if one of the partner dies
but a limited company can only be dissolved through court action okay so another point of difference is income tax liability this basically means who pays the income tax who is responsible to pay the income tax so in case of a sole trader the owner is responsible which is there is a single owner in the sole trader so he is responsible to pay off the income tax in partnerships in partnership partners pay tax on their share of profits in case of a limited company the company pays income tax on their income and the sh- shareholders pay tax on the dividends received Okay, so the last point of difference in the ownership types is transfer sh- transfer of ownership. This basically means how difficult is it to transfer uh, the ownership to other person or other company or other partners. so in a sole trader it is easy to transfer the ownership in partners it is easy it is comparatively easy to transfer and uh, it transfers when all the partners agree and uh, in a limited company in case of a limited company it is transferable freely among the shareholders so there are seven differences in the ownership types and this can help you in the mcqs